Let's take a look at whether H2 plus O2 yields H2O is a redox reaction. So we don't have to balance the reaction to figure it out, but I like to do that. Because we have one oxygen here and two here. Let's just put a two in front of the H2O. Now we have two oxygens, two times two, four hydrogens. Let's put a two here. So that's balanced. It just makes me feel a little bit better. So in order to figure out whether we have a redox reaction, we need to find the oxidation numbers for each element here. So let's start with H2. We have something called a free element here. That's when we have just one type of atom, sodium, iron, H2O2, or even S8. Free elements, their oxidation number is zero. So for hydrogen, we have a zero. Oxygen, that's just oxygen atoms. So that's going to be a free element too. That's going to be zero. Now for water, these atoms are bonded together into a molecule. So they're not free elements. So we have H2O. We can look at hydrogen. When hydrogen's with a nonmetal, oxygen's a nonmetal, hydrogen is going to be plus one. Oxygen is almost always minus two with a few exceptions. So minus two. And you can see two times plus one, that equals plus two. So that'll balance out the negative two. So is H2 plus O2 yields H2O redox? Absolutely. That's because hydrogen, that changes its oxidation number. And then when we look at the oxygen, that changes its oxidation number. That means that we have a redox reaction here. So that's how you tell. Figure out the oxidation number. These rules are really good to help you do that. And then if they change, it is a redox reaction. If they stay the same, it's not redox. This is Dr. V. Thanks for watching.